Hey, what's up everybody? This is Star Trek 501, and today I wanted to go over a pretty common farm in Destiny 2 for Masterwork Cores. Now, the basis of this farm is that you go to Spider, and you buy any of the planetary materials you can for one Legendary Shard, which gives you five. And then you turn all those in for the engrams, which, since those are old, pre-forsaken engrams, all the weapons and armor have a chance to masterwork and then you dismantle them and get masterwork cores and this is usually considered to be the fastest masterwork core farm in the game but i wanted to know exactly what you're losing if you're doing this and how many masterwork cores you can actually get so i bought 500 simulation seeds that you turn into brother vance on mars i bought 500 of those so 500 legendary shards you get 2500 of the simulation seeds and this is what I got after getting all of those turning all of them in and then dismantling everything and these are all the materials I got so I got 1475 glimmer I got 358 legendary shards back now I could get more legendary shards because I also got 252 gunsmith materials which I did not turn in so that does not count towards the legendary shards. Now it's only two and a half turn ins. So it's not a ton more legendary shards. But then I also did not scrap any of the um, shaders I got. Which I got a few dozen shaders. So from all of that I would probably say you're losing anywhere from 50 to 100 legendary shards. Somewhere within that range. Probably the average is probably going to be somewhere in between like 80 or something like that. If you get rid of all the shaders, use all the gunsmith materials and get rid of that stuff. Now I also got 8 masterwork cores, which is pretty good. And then 4 um, mod components, which isn't that much. It's really rare. It's twice as rare as masterwork cores for me. But basically for 8 masterwork cores and about, I would say 20 minutes on average to do this you're getting eight masterwork cores and losing like on average like somewhere within 80 legendary shards so this probably is or this definitely is the fastest way to get masterwork cores now if you have an insane amount of legendary shards like if you played before forsaken um and just saved up tons of mass or tons of legendary shards you can definitely do this quite a bit I didn't play basically at all the two DLCs before Forsaken, so I didn't have any stockpile of anything. But I know there's people out there that have, you know, 5,000 plus legendary shards, so they can go and do a bunch of this, because you're only losing like 80 average, so you're not losing a ton, and you can get a bunch of Master Records if you need them. So I just wanted to show you guys the actual numbers of doing this type of farm. It's definitely worth it if you have the legendary shards to spare, because Besides buying stuff from Spider, there's not a massive, um, I guess, use that you're constantly using for these that will take away large chunks. So if you have a thousand of these, you definitely spend a little bit, get some quick master records. So let me know what you think about this farm, and thanks for watching.